In this video, we're going to show you how to wire multiple PTZs into one DVR. For this setup, you're going to need more than one PTZ. And to make it more simple, we've just run the cables from each of our PTZs into the view. So we've got a set of cables for one PTZ here, and we've got another set of cables for the other PTZ here. You're going to need a terminal block for combining multiple RS-45 connections into one positive and negative that you'll later plug into the back of the DVR. You're going to need the power supplies that were shipped with your PTZs. Make sure not to mix these up because they do come in various voltages and you could easily fry your equipment. You're going to need power and video wires for the number of PTZs that you have. In this case we have heavy gauge pre-made wires but we do highly recommend that you buy a spool of wire and terminate your own connections and you'll need a DVR with RS-45 connections. You may have noticed that we don't have a CAT5 or CAT6 wire in this demonstration. This is done intentionally to eliminate any problems that might occur while running your RS-45 data connections over that cable. So to make things more simple, we're just going to take the RS-45 positive and negative and connect it directly to our terminal block. So the first step in setting up multiple PTZs on one DVR is to combine your RS-45 connections into one terminal block. This terminal block is divided by positive and negative. You can see that it is in fact labeled that on the block itself. To make these connections you're going to need either a flat blade or a Phillips head screwdriver. And we'll quickly look on our cable to see which one is negative and positive. You can see that yellow says RS-45 negative and green is RS-45 positive. So we'll take the yellow negative and we'll connect it to the negative side. We'll take the green and connect it to the positive. And for this PTZ, we have two different colored wires for positive and negative. We have yellow being positive this time and orange being negative. So we'll start with the negative. And we'll connect the positive yellow. So now that we have both of our PTZ RS-45 connections combined into what is now one positive and negative connection, we're going to connect this to the DVR. On the back of the DVR, you'll see that there is a port labeled A and B. This is the positive and negative for your RS-45 connection. A by default is positive and B is negative. So we're going to trace back our wire to the terminal block. And this wire seems to be the negative, so we'll put that into B. And we'll tighten it. You're going to need a smaller screwdriver for tightening these. And we'll of course repeat the process for the positive wire. The second step is to take your either spool of cable with the terminated connections that you've made or your pre-made cable and connect your PTZ power and video to the DVR. And we'll plug this in for a power supply. Make sure that the voltage is correct for the camera that you're plugging in. 
and then plug it into the video. Repeat this process for the second PTZ. Also notice that on the DVR we have the same number of audio inputs as video inputs so it is easy to mix these up. They are labeled video in and audio in so make sure that you put your video port in on one of the video channels. And you should be all set.